my peanut butter. Did you eat my peanut butter? No, I had a friend over and they got hungry and asked if they could have some. And you let them have some? Well, yeah. Of my peanut butter? Yes, your peanut butter. That does it. Creating a food clean room. Like a, actually, I don't even know what that sounds like it could be. Think hotel safe, but for food. My food. Oh, then why didn't you say that? I know what a hotel safe is. It's more than just a hotel safe. Hotel safe is a place to lock up my food, but it's accessible to anyone with a code. Clean room means a place to lock up my food, but I control who can access it and how. But isn't the hotel safe code the way to control who can access it? And isn't the code also how they can access it? Nope. What? How's that work? All right, um, here, pull up this link I just sent you. All right. Data clean rooms, guidance, and recommended practices. Check out pages 16 and 17. Okay. How does a data clean room work? Data clean room rules. Data contributor. That's me. Okay. DCR provider. That would be this cabinet plus a resettable combination lock plus chat GPT. What? Just keep going. We'll get there. Okay. Uh, data consumer. That would be you and your little friend. Here we go. Um, data services provider. Also ChatGPT. What? This version of ChatGPT would be for like creating recipes based on what's available in the food clean room. Okay. And what's the other version of ChatGPT for? The one that goes with the resettable combo lock and this cabinet to double as the DCR provider. Sure. That will be how you get the code to the combo lock. Through ChatGPT? Through a custom version of ChatGPT. Obviously I'll have to hire someone to create it, but basically there'll be this list of questions that anyone who wants to access the peanut butter will have to answer first. Like, who am I and why do I want to get into the food cabinet? Food clean room, and yes. But the questions will be more specific than that because anyone can say that they're you. So it'll be questions like, what movie did we watch last Saturday? So I just have to remember that we watched Magic Mike and I can use the peanut butter. Magic Mike XXL, and you can access the peanut butter. That's what I said. No, you said use the peanut butter. What's the difference? Well, if we're low on peanut butter, like we are now, thanks to you and your little friend, I'm not gonna wanna let you into the cabinet to use the peanut butter, but I am going to want you to be able to find out that we're low on peanut butter so you can get some next time you go to the store. So I'll set up some rule in ChatGPT where there's enough peanut butter, you get the code. There's not enough peanut butter, then you get told to go to the store. Okay, so if there's enough peanut butter, I can use it. Yes, but only at home. What? I'm not letting you take the peanut butter out of the house. I'll have one of those Apple AirTags in it, and if the GPS coordinates go outside the premises, then I'll have ChatGPT call one of those neighborhood security patrol services. How much money are you looking to spend on this? As much as it takes. We're talking about peanut butter, not cookies. Fair.